10 extremely useful tools you should be using in your marketing right now. Do you wanna know what the most challenging thing about marketing is? It involves a lot of other skills. I mean, depending on what you're doing, in order to run a successful marketing campaign or efforts, you need to know quite a few skills and they have to play nicely together. Whether it's content writing and copywriting or design and branding and user experience or even paid ad management or SEO or landing page creation, heck, even marketing funnels and social media marketing, the list goes on and on. With all of that, when you don't have a team helping you out, doing marketing can be difficult. So what should you do, give up? Of course not. Can you actually do marketing as a solo entrepreneur or even as a solo marketing consultant? Yes, you can. And that's the good news. There's a lot of tools that can save you anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to literally a week's worth of time every single year. And it hasn't always been that way. When I started doing marketing, I actually needed to be doing a lot of things manually and I didn't have a team to help me out. I would take on SEO and marketing clients and do everything from their strategy to the execution on their campaigns and even help change their code. That would often involve writing content, doing keyword research, even playing around with WordPress. Back then, a lot of people didn't even have CMSs, so I was logging in through FTP and changing their files. But in this day and age, things have completely changed. From writing blog titles to finding email addresses of website owners when they don't even publish it on their website, the level of effort you need to put in is like one-tenth of what it used to be. So let's go over some of the tools to see how you can save anywhere from 10 to 40% of your work time each and every single week so that way you don't have to hire as many people. There are a few activities involved with content creation that are time-consuming and high effort. These typically are research, ideation, and writing itself, assuming you already know the keywords you want to target and have a plan of attack for your SEO and content marketing. The next most important thing for you to do is find out the top ranked pages in your space and what those pages are doing so you can be better than them. And a big part of your effort will be around doing research on Google for keywords that you want to target. You'll analyze the top ranking pages, not just of your site, but of competitors, how long their content is, the topics they cover, how much rich images and videos that they contain, the step-by-step -step steps that they're talking about, the questions they're answering, and just the overall common user experience of the page. The idea is by knowing everything that your competitors are doing, you can get ahead of them by making your content better. Now, if you had to do all that effort manually, you could easily spend four hours just doing research for one keyword. But there are quite a few tools that can help you out with that. And these tools will do a lot of heavy lifting for you and scrape Google search results to analyze all the top rank pages that you're trying to target with those keywords. They'll then analyze the pages using natural language processing technique to determine what topics, not just keywords, what topics they're writing about and how important it is for you to include those topics in your content as well. These tools will do roughly the same thing, but they'll have a few different additional features that will differentiate them. All you have to do is see which one has the best costs and benefits depending on your business and what you're focused on. So let's go with the tools I'm talking about. Phrase.io, SEOScout.com, Clearscope.io, Usetopic.com, MarketMuse.com. But the greatest value that they all offer is helping you create content outline that all the basic information is about around that topic. So what should that topic cover? What headings should you be using that should be on that page? How long will your content be? How many images and videos should you include in your content? Questions you should answer, sources that you should quote, among many other interesting things. The interesting part about a lot of these tools is they'll have features like AI writing, which will help you both with ideation and writing. The AI is not perfect, but it does save you around half the time. They'll enable you to come up with ideas for your titles, headings, they'll even write paragraphs for you. I'm about to launch a similar tool on Ubersess for free, and if it's something that you'd be interested in, make sure you leave a comment below explaining why. I'm curious about how you would use a feature like that and the type of business that you're in. Now, the second category of marketing tools is paid ad management tools. Managing paid ads is kind of a big deal. If you don't manage your ads well enough, you'll just waste tons of money. It's like literally throwing money down the toilet and flushing it. You don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you're managing your ads correctly. 
So let's go over a few tools that'll help you mostly with your paid ads. MagicX.com, it'll automatically optimize your ad campaigns for you, covering from Facebook and Instagram ads, even YouTube and Google ads. It'll use artificial intelligence to undercover or uncover opportunities and improvements. It would actually be really cool if it was an undercover tool, but more so helps you uncover. It will optimize your campaigns, taking several factors into account like audiences, demographics, locations, lookalike audiences, budget, bids, ad copy, ad creation. You get the point. The biggest value here is all the time you'll save and still maintain a high quality work. Instead of focusing on doing tons of manual analysis and doing tons of data points and going through all this stuff, you can focus on crafting the perfect messaging. Meanwhile, Magic X will run tests and experiments that will help you optimize your ads to the maximum potential. Another tool for you, the Facebook Ad Library. Facebook Ad Library shows you all the ads that your competitors are running on Facebook and Instagram. It'll allow you to get insights on what's doing really well for your competitors, not just the ads, but even their products, their messaging. And I'm not saying you should copy them, but you can create your own variation of it. The next category of marketing tools are creative ones. When you're doing marketing, you'll often need some sort of graphic design or image assets to create your campaigns. And even if you're not talented or don't have a creative bone in your body, that's okay. There's some tools that'll help speed this up for you. And can you guess what tool I'm gonna be breaking down? Canva, it has templates for everything. Templates for videos, templates for social media ads, infographic. Heck, you wanna do a marketing presentation? They got a template for that too. Pexels, it's another one. Pexels offers thousands of images that you can use in your marketing for free. That way, you don't have to pay for stock photography. So you wanna save hundreds of dollars? Pexels. And another tool for you, HotPot. This is an AI platform that will allow you to do all sorts of things with images. You can remove backgrounds, objects, and large images, or even restore older images once you make changes. You just click the restore and you can go back. The last tool I have for you is for your SEO needs. You want to optimize a lot of your SEO. You don't want to do it manual. You don't want to worry about keyword research. Can you guess what tool I'm going to say? Ubersuggest. It's free. It's offered on the neilpatel.com site, or you can just go to ubersuggest.com and there's a free plan that gives you most of everything that you need.